dear viewers, we have decided to give you a present after all the holiday events. Gathering together all the information about the number one, quiet, Latin American actor you all know and love, Mario Simara. The guy who has consistently failed to deliver any news on his future works and his fans, you and me, are starting to be nervous about, but let's have some order here. After filming Blue Mediterranean, or rather Mediterranean Blue, Mario went to the bottom again and hasn't made an appearance until he has been seen for a few seconds in an American series called Necessary Roughness. This in itself is very good, as he said, the invitation wasn't even expected, but it was welcome, as not even the biggest Latin American big shots can appear for 5 or 10 seconds on American television. Even more impressed were the cast, especially the women, who were very pleased having Mario around. It's said that Kel Thorne was particularly impressed. Then Mario has appeared on Thalia's radio show, Connexion Thalia. The interview was interesting, but as always, he did not say anything specific about his future work. He said that he had many projects up, and he's considering a lot of job offerings and screen scenarios, so people immediately assume that Mario is going to be appearing on Telemundo. Especially after his frequent visits to Telemundo's events and related to fiascos, like Primus to Mundo and the Mexican Billboard event, where Mario was with Vanessa Veriela. On the billboards, Mario was pretty slim and thin, so one might expect that he is preparing for some new role as he has been known to change his appearance and fitness according to new roles. People are already fantasizing Mario starring in Patron, the new series by Telemundo with Araceli Arambula as the lead actress. Even fake reports appear that Araceli asks for Mario to be her co-star. But then people had it coming to them when the representatives of Argos Studio, which is the studio filming the series together with Telemundo, stated that Mario's appearance and involvement wasn't even considered at any point. And Araceli herself, of course, did not respond to anything and decided that she would rather have peace over hassling. And being the big shot star that she is, she decided that Luis Pila should be her core star. The ratings of Patron were 5 points, and even that was at the beginning, when advertisement was rampant and people were still high. But back to Mario. In between Telemundo's activities, Mario Simaro and Veriela took part in an annual charity run by Mighty Pridia. For many years, Mighty is heading the fund for breast cancer research, and now Mario is part participating in her charities for the second time. Readers of the popular magazine Corpo Sano got a special treat in the form of a photo shoot of Mario Simaro. The article itself was okay, but without revelations as to what the man is up to. Then there was a festival in Santo Domingo, where the film Mediterranean Blue has participated in the competition. Judging by the photos on the press, it went excellent, Mario was pleased and the team was happy with the results. Mario talked to Juan Fernandez and Tony Tarantino, posed for pictures with fans, was interviewed by the Dominican press and seen in the company of Telemundo actors, one of whom, one of whom was Sonia Smith. This is interesting because Sonia planned to take the lead role in the remake of a Brazilian series called Fina Estampa, and Mario was rumored to be the new Pygmalion of the story. Again, we have not a long wait ahead of us before we find out if our hero is going to be shining on the silver screen again, or if he is heading in a different direction. Well, no news about anyone would be complete without a few scandals, so here we go. At this time, the distinguished father of Zuri Vega, who suddenly remembered that his daughter got terribly hurt during the filming of the Sea of Love series, has named Mario a swine. Interesting. Where this came from isn't very clear, especially in considering that Zuri herself said that no conflicts have occurred and everything was okay on the filming of the series. And, you know, her dad's just a joker and his words shouldn't be taken seriously. Oh boy, what a kind daughter. 
Then rumors started floating around that again Televisa might exchange anger for mercy and invite Mario back to work with them. Everything is possible, seeing as they are running out of real material, boldening Levy, aging Kulung and Yanis, and a lot of other grand featureless men who not only fail at acting, but apparently can't even be called in most of the time. Time will tell what happens, since Televisa is a very specific place and not friendly to foreigners. Well, the last appearance Mario made was in Miami Press. The paparazzi planned to get a few shots of him in the fitness room, being naked or such, but they were running late, so they only managed to, cut, to catch him in the process of buying jewelry, specifically earrings. There are also rumors about Mario's ability to travel back to Mexico, since he has been so rude to the esteemed political figures going by the names of Linnell Conde and Zuri Vega. He is supposedly not allowed entry to the country of his citizenship. Haters gonna hate. And that's all for today, folks. Hope you had a good time listening to me, and expect more news and updates from us soon.